Well, hi there. Welcome to Bella's Vistas. We're at Arches Park right now. I'm making a little breakfast for us here. Lunch, maybe. Sort of in between. Getting some butter hot in the pan here. Now I'm going to add some scallops that we bought at Rocky Harbor Fish Shop. These are fantastic. We're going to cook these up and have some salad with them. Now today's going to be quite an interesting video. We're going to go to Lansom Meadows and see the Vikings. As an added bonus, I can't believe my good fortune, we ran into a pair of caribou off in the distance. I trudged across the tundra and I got some great shots, close-up shots on the caribou. It's just fantastic. We're driving along, we're going through little communities. We're on the great northern peninsula of Newfoundland. We're driving through a little community here, looking for some local color, anything to make a picture of. Here's one there. There's a door with an interesting lock. Back again, we're on the road, driving along. Ponds on either side of the road. Look at there. There's a fishing community. This is Port Saunders. There's the fishing fleet at Port Saunders. It's an amazing little place. I'm gonna pull in there and have a look around. It's a government dock. There's working boats there. You gotta be careful. Everywhere it says at your own risk, so you wanna be careful. There's construction and everything going on. There's the boats. Fantastic place. And we're back on the road. We're going past the Point Ritchie Lighthouse gonna pull in there look at there it's shrouded in fog just the way I wanted to see it so happy with that picture look at the road ahead beautiful clouds over the road some fishermen salmon fishing is the best in the world up around here there they're in with their waders and fly fishing very interesting place Again, the cloud, mist over the road, fantastic place to be. I'm just loving it. Wow, boats on the side of the road, you don't see that where I come from. This is just great. I'm going to pull in here, have a little snack on the side of the road. It's a quite a long ride from uh, Arches up to the Lansom Meadows. It's three, four hours. See some fishing sheds on the side of the road, some of the angriest seagulls I've ever seen. I think they wanted us to share our lunch with them. I think we had a little lobster sandwich that we made there with some of the lobster we got from Rocky Harbor. When you're on the coast, you might as well eat the seafood. I got a bag of codfish in the fridge a guy gave us yesterday, frozen from last year yet. He said it's still good. I'm going to have that tomorrow, fish on Friday. Blasting down the road, look at all the scenery here. It's such a good time to be here. It's nice and cool. Coming into Lansom Meadows right now. Look at there, we're pulling off the road. This is the Viking settlement where the Vikings were here, I don't know how long ago, a thousand years ago the Vikings were here. Look at this place. There's a sculpture that represents the coming together of two different cultures. There's a Viking ship head on the side of the sculpture. A little bit of a detail. Off here you see the settlement. There's, it's a sod building. There's a wooden fence around it. The first time I was here it was like the wooden fence was woven out of like small saplings and trees. But this is a different kind of fence. What do I see in behind the fence here? I'm sure I see somebody moving around inside there. The walls here are a thick uh, sod peat kind of thing. Wait a minute. There it is. You can see the ventilation shafts on top of the roof there. Again, the fence. You can see some of the sod there. There they are. There's my Viking buddies. They'd rather be out pillaging, but here they are telling us their story. I'm going to hear some tall tales here, I think. One of them I'm pretty sure is true. The other one, well, we're not sure. This fellow's sharpening a knife here. He's a woodworker. He told me that half of the work in woodworking is keeping your tools sharp. He's sharpening this knife that he made a sheath for the other day. There he is, just taking her easy. Now the story begins. My namesake. Hegel is your Viking Viking. Goes to the assembly, the all thing, when he's three years old with his father. His father got to take him from the assembly and bring him home and give him to his mother. Because he said, when I take Hegel to the assembly, 
he gets drunk and he's a nuisance. So he was three years old. When he's six years old, he's playing a game of ball. With a leather-laced ball with a bunch of guys. A bit older than Agil. Agil's six years old. And a fellow twice his age fouls him. Beats the life out of poor little Ego. Ego leaves the game to cat calls and boos. On his way home, runs into his uncle Torval. And Uncle Torval asks him, What's the trouble? And he told him. <laughs> uncle Torval went and got a bearded axe. Give it to young Ego. And said, take this and go back and make it right. So Ego took the axe and went back to the ball game. When his opponent come around, he planted the axe in his skull. Put it into the game. When the word got back to his mother, she said that Ego, he's going to make some Viking someday. Just imagine the tall tales that would be told sitting around the fire on those long winter nights. No TV, nowhere to go, just entertaining yourself with stories. Played around. music one time for a fundraiser for that because he never he ran out of money. Uh -huh, yeah. Doing it, I guess. And we played up to Sanani on a local TV station for to raise money for the finished Joey's oh, oh, oh. I got a picture of it at home now. Dad and myself and Rufus Ginsburg, yeah. Yes, played, a few, right. played a few gigs at Rufus over the years. Oh, say, that's, when that's, he was alive. that's something yeah. remarkable. That is, yeah. Yes, sir. I got the picture. Well, I had a great time at the Viking settlement. This is just great, the recreation. You can see the details, how the places were ventilated, the thick walls. Here's a piece of iron, bog iron they used to uh, refine to make nails and whatnot. Here's a replica of one of the boats. This shows what it was like way back in the day. Outside, some moose. Look at that. What good fortune. And we parked up here. We found a nice place to park on the way back to Arches. Like I said, it's about a three to four hour drive through the fog. Morning time, we're setting out again. We're all refreshed. We've got our coffee on. We're heading, oh, a dead moose on the side of the road. That makes me so sad. Just stick with us to the end and you're going to see the caribou. That'll cheer you up. It sure cheered me up. I felt like I was 15 years old chasing across the tundra after those caribou. The Olympus really worked well for me too with the 300 millimeter and the 2X converter. Really pulled them in. Nice sharp focus too on them. I was just I'm so lucky I got the shots that I did. The subject tracking worked just fine. I don't know why when I'm shooting caribou or moose you have to set it for kitty cats, but it works just great. I mean, wow. Look at the sky. The thing about Newfoundland, it's like big sky country. You say out west is big sky, but there's big sky here too. Lots of action in the sky. Cloud, mist, fog, rain. You never know what you're going to get. Here I am at the side of the road making a few photographs. Just loving it. Look in the distance there. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for a lobster boat, if I remember correctly. There's a lobster boat out there pulling traps. There he is. Wow, I'm getting some shots of him here. You can pull him in so close that I can see the faces of the guys in the boat. There it is. There's the boat. And now we're going to have a little race here. We're going to race the E-150 van against the lobster boat and see who... Oh, I think we're winning. Yeah. There's no stopping that 351 Windsor V8, American V8 power. Wow, look at the waves out here, beautiful. I'm really loving it. You can see the rain on the windows. A little bit of rainbow <laughs> on the glass, anyway. Cruising down the road here, wondering what we're going to see. Got to keep your eyes peeled on both sides of the road, straight ahead, watch the traffic, but watch for animals and anything you might see. Towards the evening, you got to watch because a moose or anything can run out in front of your car. They'll actually attack the cars, and uh, if you hit a moose, you know, you might wind up dead. You could both be dead. A little uh, waterfall at the side of the road here. Some fresh water coming down. So beautiful, really. I love it. 
a little time lapse here, live ND with the Olympus. It's so much fun. It's such a wonderful camera. Western Brook. Taking the hike at Western Brook into Gross Morn Park. Getting some shots here. Look at that. Wow. The 150 lens really pulls things in. Get some depth of field happening with a little foreground framing and whatnot. Feels like you can walk right into the photographs. I'm having so much fun here. The video's nice, but I'm a still photography guy. I love the still photos more than anything. This is Mary's video of the irises here. She got some amazing photographs of the iris. She's using the uh, OMD EM1 Mark II Olympus. And she loves it. She switched over from a Canon video camera. She's loving the Olympus so much more. Gross Morn Park, those are the mountains that are, that are just famous, world famous. You can take a little cruise through the fjord here and see things really close up. I didn't do it this time. I did it once in the past, but it's like a three hour, four hour commitment, something like that. I just didn't have the time to spend. I want to get more coverage here. The park is just beautiful. If you could fly up there or take like a huge hike. Well, we're back at Arches Park again and the sky cleared off. I'm really hopeful that we're going to get some nice pictures here. This is sort of a, almost like giant hogwart in Ontario. This is like a poison ivy kind of plant. You don't want to be touching those. And uh, I stayed well away from them. They're not as bad as the ones we have in Ontario, but you know, you just don't need that kind of aggravation. Stay well clear of them. Don't touch it. Everybody's here looking at the arches. There's our van parked up here. Beautiful. I got some fantastic pictures towards sunset here. It's getting to be sunset now. Look at that. Wow, we I'm so happy with that picture. Beautiful. Some of the boat houses here are just fantastic too. This is Sally's Cove. This is where I got the soaker. I got a soaker right up to the waist there while I was taking pictures. Rocky Harbor. Look at this little lawnmower they've got going in Rocky Harbor. That's something else. I've never seen a robotic lawnmower before. But they've got one. It really does a nice job on their lawn. Some rocks and fishing villages. Rocky Harbor. We found these lady slippers. Wow. They were at the side of the road in Gross Morn Park, and I used a long lens to pull them in. It's like macro photography, but with like with a 1200 millimeter equivalent lens. It's fantastic. This is Woody Point, west coast of Newfoundland. Some fishing boats off in the distance. Okay, now we're getting ready for some fun. This is when it's going to get exciting. We're just cruising down the road. We got some weather. You can see the weather we're going through. We got rain, we got fog, we got mist. All <laughs> If you don't like the weather in Newfoundland, just wait 10 minutes and it'll change. And I'm enjoying it. I really love it. Look, 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 look. Wow. Saw these caribou here. I walked down there, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but I trudged all the way down to the river there. And you know, these are wild animals, they're not tame by any means, you got to be careful. You want to keep a bit of a distance there. Here I am, trying to get shots of them. Glad I had my hair washed that morning, we were lucky to get a shower at Rocky Harbor. It's nice on the road to get a shower and feel clean about things. Now here I am. Trudging down by the river, I've just got sandals on. You can see the antlers there sticking up out of the river bank. And I'm coming over here. I'm trying to sneak up on him. I'm going down past my ankles into the muck and mire here. Here he's starting to move a little bit. And I'm trying to get closer. I'm not as close as it looks. This is all telephoto shooting, so distances are compressed a little bit. 
it's going to start being some action. Now look at there, look, there they go. Wow, look at this. And they're walking along now. I'm getting some shots of them. Watching them walk over that way. They want to be right where they were, so they're coming back again. I don't really know why they're staying there, but there's some reason. So they're coming back towards me, and I'm getting some head shots. I'm really happy with the pictures that I got. There he is, look at there, wow. And we're back on the road again. It's just been fantastic. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like, subscribe, come on back again real soon.